All right, so this past weekend, I took the uh, Dodge Viper out to Button Willow. As you can see from my other video, my track preparation video, I didn't really prepare this car to uh, a very intense level, and you don't really need to with this car. But anyways, I had a lot of fun driving this car on the track. One of my biggest limitations was driving this car with older, stale uh, Michelin tires, and I kind of did that on purpose because I wanted to slide around a bit to feel the balance of the car. And the balance of this car is really great. One of the weirdest things about it is the hood is so long, but the wheels are sort of mounted back. It looks different than it feels, but once you get the feeling of where the wheels are placed underneath you, you can really get good control of the car. Heel toe shifting is not a problem in this car. It's really easy. I found that when I went down to the lower gears, I would lose traction. So uh, if I got pointed by, maybe I'd shift down to third and I'd floor it and the car would just, you know, fishtail everywhere. And so I just kept it in fourth the whole time. This car doesn't have ABS, and so I would I would lock up the wheels if I tried to brake aggressively. So I had to really stretch out my braking zones, and I expected to fade the brakes, but I didn't. So that was surprising, because a lot of people say the brakes are the limiting factor. And I was running lap times the same uh, that I run in my E46, and that's just incredible. I haven't done anything with this car. I haven't even, uh, you know, dialed in an aggressive alignment. It's just... Uh, it's just amazing how capable this car is. Uh, now, later on in the day, I sort of lost it around a turn. I, you know, I correct and then try to bring it back to cancel out the weight transfer, uh, but I can't bring it back. My arms feel really heavy. I'm like thinking, wow, I must be really tired. It's time to go home. So I, I take the car home. Uh, and when I get home, I'm checking out the car, find out that my power steering cap had come off and I'd lost all my power steering fluid. So I was uh, trying to uh, correct the steering without power steering fluid. It made for a pretty cool GoPro video. I went off and there was a spectacular cloud of dust. And uh, that was on the last run, near the last lap of the last uh, session. So uh, I wasn't really disappointed in that. I had a lot of fun in this car.